God bless you. 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 Hello, hello. God is good, and we got a good one for you today. Good evening, and God bless you. Um, Sister Retta, the on the floor and noise. God bless you all. And God bless everyone. I need, I need, I need Jesus every day of my life. Go ahead. Don't worry about the economy. Don't worry about who's the president. God got this under control. Now don't do that. Don't commit suicide. It's going to be all right. You ain't got to do that. It's going to be all right, people. It's going to be all right. Pray, boy, pray. People is gonna be all right. And sometimes you may say, I didn't see you Sunday, Pastor. We were in church. We were in our physical church with our mask on. Amen. And just having a good time. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Hey, Tony. God bless Tony Watkins. My sister, Tony is going to be all right. Put your trust in God, not in people, but in God. Have a personal relationship with God. Pray, pray, and keep praying. Have you ever heard of a breakthrough? God will give you a breakthrough. What I call deliverance, total deliverance, is what people need. Oh, God bless everyone. God bless everyone. So don't worry about how it looks. It's going to be all right, Tony. It's going to be all right. Amen. No matter how many bad things you hear, the good thing is God loves you. And the good thing is God's going to do it. If you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, the Bible says you can say unto that mountain, remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. So I'm going to tell y'all something. If you never had a mountain removed out of your life, I don't think you really work your faith right. Amen. Because God is good. Amen. But if you believe and trust God, God take care of the birds and the bees and everything. So you know what? He's going to do it for you. I've seen God do some miracles in my life. Amen. You tell Houston he's a walking miracle. Do the right thing at all times. God loved him. Gave him a second chance. So tell him if God blessed him on that front, he can bless him on another front. It doesn't matter. God is God. Amen. And people say, I don't believe in God. Well, you believe in the corona and you don't see the corona, but you're doing what the corona say do. God going to bless you. Amen. And you tell Houston I'm praying for him. Tell, tell all the family I'm praying for them. I'm praying that God bless them 
and save them and strengthen them and give them peace and love and power and salvation. Hallelujah. So God is good to all of us. Amen. Yes, I heard that voice of Jesus one day. I wasn't always saved, people, but I heard the voice of God one day, and God saved me. So when people ask me, how do you know God is real? I said, because I heard an audible voice of God, amen, in the city of Gary, Indiana, when he saved me. Couldn't have been nobody else's voice, couldn't have been my voice, amen, because I was looking around to see who said that, and nobody was there but me. Amen. And the voice said, throw that gun in the garbage. You're not going to need it. That's what the voice told me. Amen. I threw it in the garbage. Just like the voice said. And you know what happened to me? God saved me. He started saving me. And just blessing me. Amen. And getting my life right. Amen. Gave me a beautiful wife. Gave me salvation. Just bless me. Amen. So no matter what you're going through in life, God can help you. Jesus Christ is the way. He's the truth and the life. And you may say, well, you just said God, and then you said Jesus. Jesus is God. And God, Jesus has a father. Amen. So it's God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. And those are three in agreement, people. Isn't that beautiful? God is good. We got a good one for you today, though. Got a good one for you. Amen. So we want you to sit back. Amen. Listen to the word of God. Amen. And learn. God, God yet love you, people. He yet love you. Amen. So no matter you... I know some people thinking they're going to get put out their house and, and, and they lost their job. Let me tell you something. You didn't lose your mind. Long as you got your mind, the Bible says, Thou that keepeth his mind stayed on me, I will keep him in perfect peace. So God going to give you perfect peace. It's going to be all right, people. Hallelujah. No matter what you think, amen. Some of you sitting there. And you cry, I don't have no food. Let me tell you something. You got God. God will God bless you. I remember a man in the scriptures, he sent food. He sent this man food, a raven sent this man. God sent this man by raven food from heaven. Amen. So when God, when God feeds you, he feeds you real good. Amen. There was a, there was a woman, uh, the widow, and her and her son had no money, no nothing. But she had some oil and a little bit of flour, whatever she had. And she was going to make a cruise, biscuits or whatever, and she was going to die. Well, a man of God came to her house, and he said he was hungry. He said, give it to me. So she said, if I give it to you, we're going we gonna to be hungry. But you know how the woman did. She was a real good woman. So she gave the man of God what she had. And guess what happened? That barrel, God kept blessing that barrel and barrel, and that lady never stopped. Amen. See, sometimes you got to step out on God's faith and get your blessing, no matter what it is. If it's healing, amen, if it's diabetes, blood pressure, doesn't matter. God can heal you from all those things. Well, well Pastor, I've been praying, I've been praying, I've been praying, and, and God ain't did it for me yet. Yeah, but if you give up, you're going to miss your blessing. Amen. God's waiting to see what you're going to do. Sometimes God will try your faith. Amen. And if he try your faith and your faith come forth as pure gold, you're going to get that blessing. I'm telling you. Amen. Your faith got to be tried. Our faith got to be tried. Amen. Some things just don't happen like that. And then others do. Amen. But don't give up. Keep holding on because you right at the door of your blessing, and you don't see it. Amen. Keep praying. And after a while, 
after a while, the sun goes shine. Hallelujah. Your blessing is going to overtake you and overflow you. Amen? Isn't that right? Amen. No matter what you're going through. Amen. Some people are going through hard times. Their body is shutting down on them. But guess what? God can wake up the body because he made the body. Amen. And he's over the body, the body of Christ. And he's over your little body. So he can touch your body and heal you. Amen. He can touch your body tonight. He can touch your hands, your feet, wherever that pain is coming from. God can touch it. God is a healer. God wants to heal you. Amen. But you got to call on him from a real heart. And tell the Lord, Lord, I need the touch from you. Lord, if you touch me, I'll live for you. Amen. And if you say that with faith from your heart, from the soul of your heart and the depths of your soul. Amen. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. You're going you're gonna to receive that shock and that glory from heaven. That healing that most people didn't know about. But we know about it because we say it. We know what God can do for you. And if he's done it for others, he can do it for us. Now at this time, we're going to pray. Amen. So we can get into this word. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come boldly to the throne of grace. Oh, glory, blessing you and thanking you for your word, oh God. We thanking you because you are good, God. We thank you because you are right now, God, and you always on time. We asking that you look upon those, oh God, with COVID, oh God. Oh God, heal their body, oh God. Strengthen their body. Let them rise up and walk in the name of Jesus. God, in the name of Jesus, save our loved ones all over the world, oh God. Save the sinner man from his sins, oh God. Oh God, that one that's about to do the wrong thing, oh God, touch his mind and turn him away from that. Lord, touch these people, oh God. Lord, those that hate, oh God, let them hear a word of faith. Let your, your peace that passes all understanding come down in their souls and let them know that you love them, oh God. And there's no, need, there's no need to hate and kill and, 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 and maim people and do all this craziness, oh God. God, in the name of Jesus, we look up on the nursing staff and the doctors, oh God. Touch their hearts, oh God. Guide their hands, oh God, that they're operating on people, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, bless the people that lost their jobs with jobs, oh God. Bless them, oh God. Touch people hard that they may help others, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Lord, this is your world, oh God. You made this world, oh God, and it's your world. Bless the people, oh God. Open up doors that no man can shut. That one that about to commit suicide, stop right now in the name of Jesus. And fall on your knees and say, Lord, forgive me. Lord, help me. Lord, wash me from the thoughts, from those evil thoughts and save me from my sin. God, Bless Houston right now. Touch him, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Raise him up, oh God, and save his soul that he may be a testimony to you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Save all the children, oh God, every one of them, save them, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Like you saved me, save our families, oh God. Anybody that know me, God, save them like you saved me, Lord, in Jesus' name. And Lord, we'll forever give you the honor, the glory, the praise in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. And, and bless landmark churches. Take us up, oh God. Thank you, Lord. Take us up. Thank you for Facebook. Thank you for the conference line. Thank you for taking us up and sharing this word with people when we couldn't go to our churches. But you made a way, Lord. I appreciate you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Somebody say hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody say glory to God. You know, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord where goodness and mercy shall follow me. Amen. I'm going to be reading out of First Thessalonians, fourth chapter. Amen. And the topic, the name of this topic is God still love you. Don't give up. God still love you. Don't give up. And then my text is going to be called to holiness. Amen. And we're coming out of 1 Thessalonians 4th chapter. Get your Bibles. 
Get your Bibles, people. Get your Bibles. Tell a friend we need to get our Bibles. Amen. Bring your Bible to church. The Bible said, thy word have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against thee. Amen. So get your Bibles. We're in the fourth chapter of First Thessalonians. Amen. You're listening to the old landmark church of God, holiness in Christ, the church with a voice like a trumpet, where yours truly say God's got a hook in me and I don't want to get loose. Amen. We're located 696 Mount Zion Road in Jonesboro, Georgia, and that's 30236. Our order of services as follows. Tuesday, 7.30. Friday, 7.30. And Sunday morning, uh, 10.30. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. And if you're out there and you're in the Jonesboro area, come by and see us. Wear your mask. We're going to tell it like at ISS. If you like holiness, this is a good church for you. But if you like to showboat and don't like to live right, please stay where you at. Amen? Because we want people that want to be saved and want to go to heaven. Amen? We don't play church. We live church. Amen? The church is our life. So at this time, let's move on. Amen? I'm Bishop S.L. Holder. Amen? All right, here we go. Uh, furthermore, what Paul is saying, he said, furthermore then, we beseech you, brethren, and exhort you by the Lord Jesus, that ye, that as ye have received of us, how ye ought to walk and to please God, so ye would abound more and more. See, you got to please God, people. We got to please God. We can't please ourselves. If you a man pleaser, you can't please God. But if you please in God, you're going to seek those things which are above. You're going to quit your mess, amen. You're going to put down your cigarettes. You're going to put down your alcohol. You're going to put down that girlfriend that's stuck behind the corner. Amen. You don't need that. Amen. All you need is Jesus Christ in your life. Why would you go to hell for a piece of butt? Let me say that again. Why would you go to hell for a piece of butt? It ain't worth it. Amen. It is not worth it. You can go to heaven of transparent gold, but stop chasing butt. Amen. But, 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 stop chasing it. Amen. It's no good. And you that's playing on your husband, go back home. You that's playing on your wife, go back home. You that's playing with yourself, stop. Amen. We, we're called to holiness. We're not called to sin. Amen. We're called to live right. We're called to live for God. Isn't that right, church? In that right, number 13, God bless you, Mother Marie. All right? For ye know what commandments we gave you by the Lord Jesus. For this is the will of God, even your sanctification, that ye should abstain from fornication. See, holiness, you got to abstain from fornication. Y'all know that? We must abstain from fornication. Abstain means stay away from, don't go around, don't invite it into your life. Stay away from it. I don't care if her hips are big. Amen. I don't care if her butt is big, her breasts are sticking out. Amen. You better leave that alone. Amen. You better leave that alone. Amen. I don't care if he got a six pack. Isn't that right? Amen. And he talking to you while your husband is at work. Leave that fool alone. But you mess around here and lose your husband or lose your wife. Amen. Men, stop cursing your wife out behind closed doors. You're alcoholic. You're a drunk. You need to admit, I am a drunk and I need help in the name of Jesus. Amen. And God can take save you from your alcoholism. God can save you from smoking reefer, people. God can save you from lust, lasciviousness. God can save you from that mean attitude you got. Amen. Some of you are so mean, you're meaner than a junkyard hog. Not dog, hog. Amen. And, and learn to be nice. You can't learn that until you get saved because you don't have a spirit of love in you. You only have a spirit of confusion in you right now. You need to be saved. You need to get on your knees and ask God to save me from my sin. I'm sick of acting a fool on people. I'm sick of dramatizing. I'm sick of I can't get along with nobody. Amen? Aren't you tired of that? Amen. That's not the kind of life you want. That every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and honor. You know what sanctification is? Good, clean living. 
when you're sanctified, when you hear somebody say, I'm saved and I'm sanctified, that means that's like washing your dishes, amen? You don't eat, you don't eat out of dirty dishes. You eat out of clean uh, 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 dishes and cups and spoons or whatever, silverware, amen? God wants you clean. That when you speak to somebody, you may give them the gospel truth, amen, and you won't give them a piece of your mind. It's a lot of people out there standing in the stores, cursing their children out. Amen. We just seen this preacher on TV. What is he doing? Amen. They're having sex with, uh, he letting another man have sex with his wife and he watching. You know that's dirty and low down. And he himself doing stuff. God don't have any preachers like that. Amen. God don't have two women preachers marrying two of the same sex. That is not of God. That's filthiness. Amen. God don't work in that kind of mess. You say, God, all you want, but it's against the scriptures for two women, amen, to marry one another and two men. It is against the word of God. Now, your government may believe in it, but God don't believe in it. So who am I going to follow? I'm going to follow God. Amen. Because God's word is right. Amen. We don't say, oh, they hate us. We don't hate you. We telling you the truth. The Bible doesn't uh, endorse that lifestyle. It's wrong. It's filthy, mac nasty, and God is not with that. And two women can't have a child no way. Two men can't have a child. You put y'all in the room, you're going to die. You put a man and a woman there, they're going to produce. And that is what God made it. The last time I spoke, I told you about Adam and Eve. Amen. And people love to have it so. I'm, I don't I don't marry that. I don't marry same sex. I don't marry two women, two men. I don't do that. That is against the bylaws of our church. That is against the bylaws of heaven. It is written in the, the word of God. It is, it is written. God is against it. And that is why he burned up Sodom and Gomorrah. He cremated them. Did you know that? He caused fire to come down from heaven because he didn't like it. Hallelujah. So why I'm on cremation, cremation is not of God. Where you get that from? Amen. Cremation is not of God, people. You, it's not in the scriptures. It's never in there. Amen. The Jews buried like Jesus was buried, according to the scripture. But you never see Jewish people, amen, cremating themselves. Amen. Well, there was a man in history that he cremated 7 million Jews, but he was a devil. Amen. And, and now his fate was hell. Amen. Anybody hating and killing and choking him. And, and it is wrong that a man don't have a gun and you shoot him in the back. You know that's wrong. Amen. And then you sit up here and all these high dignitaries, even the president of the United States, won't open up his big mouth and say nothing about it. Amen. It's a crying shame. Amen. That men hate other men. Amen. You're supposed to be a leader, amen, and you causing hatred in our land. Amen. Don't even make sense. Amen. Come November the 3rd, amen, you're going to be put out. You're going to be put out of half office, sir. Amen. The, the American people going to let you know what they believe in their hearts. That's why you're trying to stop the mailboxes. That's why you're trying to stop people from voting. Amen. We're going to vote dead or alive, buddy. We're going to vote. Go to them polls and vote, people. Hallelujah. All right? Amen. And stop being wimpy and scared. Amen. We're going to handle this business. Let the church say amen. Amen. All right. That every one of you should know how to possess his vessels in sanctification and honor, not in the lust of con concupiscence, even as the Gentiles which know not God, that no man go beyond and defraud his brother in any matter, because that the Lord is the avenger of all such. Y'all see that? You got people avenging each other. They they out there and they're doing stuff. They're hating on people. They're shooting people. They're killing people. Let me tell you something. Be not deceived. God ain't mocked, my friend. But whatsoever you doing, that's well you also reap. In the end, you're going to reap all that back. Press down, shaking together, running over. Amen. Yeah, men going to give it to you. Amen. 
Amen. God's word is right. You can't get past the word of God. Amen. So the Lord is the avenger of all such as we also have forewarned you and testified. For God has not called us unto uncleanness, but unto what? Holiness. God ain't called us to hate people. God called us to love. We love people, but we're not stupid. Amen. We're not stupid people. Amen. We're wise people. Isn't that right? You see some nut out there pointing a the gun at your duck. Get out the way of fire. Amen. Get out the way of that. If you permit it, protect yourself. Amen. What I say, protect yourself. Like the lady said, respect yourself. Amen. For God had not called us unto uncleanness, but unto holiness. Holiness is good, clean living. Amen. And that don't mean we crazy people. We great people. God's people, sanctified people, are the best people in the world. Amen. If you didn't know, now you know. Amen. Get you a friend that's sanctified. Get you a friend that know how to pray. Get you a friend that calls upon the name of the Lord. Isn't that right? He therefore that despiseth it, despiseth not man, but God, who had also given unto us his Holy Spirit. Have you ever been filled with the Holy Spirit? God will fill you with his spirit, people. Thank God for the Holy Spirit. Amen. And tonight, you can, you can be saved, you can be sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. See, God forgive all manners of sin. He forgive all, all manner of sin. It's nothing you can't do except blaspheming the Holy Ghost that you can't be saved. But other than that, God will forgive you for all sin. Amen. He forgave King David. Amen. He forgave many men in the scriptures for their sins. And in the time we're living in, God will forgive you of your sin. Amen. You're not dead yet. You're still alive. But so what? You didn't know you messed up over here. What can you do? You can call upon the name of the Lord. You can tell the Lord, Lord, forgive me. I am so sorry. And don't do that no more. Amen. And and get with one of the, with a preacher just like me where he can teach you the ways of God. And let me tell you, God love you. God really love you. And that's why he's trying to send his word to you today. He's angry with the wicked people every day. But God love you. All right. Now let's get to the word. For God has not called us unto uncleanness. Listen to that word. But unto holiness. He therefore that despised not man, but God, who had also given unto us his Holy Spirit. But as touching brotherly love, ye, not, ye need not that I write unto you, for ye yourselves are taught of God to love one another. Don't God teach in his word how to love people? God tell you love your brethren. If you see your brethren have need and you shut it up your vow for mercy, how dwelleth the love of God in you? You know your neighbor over there starving? Get up. Put some clothes on, take you a loaf of bread, some milk, some eggs, some cheese, and help those people. You know those people are hungry. You can look around the neighborhood and tell who don't have what. And you got everything, but you can't help nobody. No, -uh. no, 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 no. That's stingy and that's selfishness. Amen. You need to repent of that. Amen. And, and some of you family members, you so stingy, amen that you won't give anybody anything. Go help somebody in the family. You know those people are hungry. Amen. You know they don't have food. Amen. Go help them. Go help that friend across the street. But help somebody. Amen. You heard the song. If I can help somebody along the way, I know my living won't be in vain. But if you don't help anybody and you selfish and honorary, amen, you're lost and you're on your way to hell. Did you hear what I said? H-E-L-L. -L. There is a place called hell. Don't tell me you don't believe in hell. You believe in corona. You got that mask on. So yes, there is a hell. When we tell you about uh, hell, you didn't want to listen. When we told you about heaven, you didn't want to listen. But now this corona come up on the earth and you still won't listen. You're going to die. Amen. If you don't come to God and repent of your sin and keep yourself safe. You will die, people. Amen. This disease or whatever it is killing people by the numbers. Amen. 
650,000 folks. I may be even low on that. Over 2 million caught it in the United States and 150,000, maybe 180, 180,000 done died. That don't make sense. Amen. Something is definitely wrong. Amen. But God still love us. I can die with Corona, but I cannot die my sins. Aren't you tired of living the way you're living? Aren't you tired of getting up every morning cursing folks out? Aren't you tired of having a bad attitude, being nasty to everybody? Aren't you tired of cursing? Don't you feel dirty inside when you do it? Well, this is your moment of truth today. God wants you saved. God wants you to repent of your sin and stop cursing at folks and stop calling folks out their names. Amen. And call them a brother or sister like you should be calling them in the first place. Are you listening to me? I love every one of you. If you got a situation going on in your life, amen, consult your local sanctified preacher and let him help you. Amen. We'll pray with you. We'll call upon the name of the Lord. We'll find every scripture pertaining to your problem. And then we'll go to God and ask God to remove that cup or that situation from you or help you, oh God. Isn't that right? Some people say, I got pain in my body. I don't know what to do. Trust God. Believe God. Never give up. Call upon the name of the Lord. Quote the scriptures. Let this word jump off these pages into your body and heal you. Amen. God has healing power, people. Glory to God. All right, let's keep moving. Nine, I'm at the I'm through, I'm at four and nine. But as touching brotherly love, ye not ye need not that I write unto you. For ye yourselves are taught of God to love one another, and we are taught love. And indeed, you do it toward all the brethren which are in all Macedonia. But we beseech you, brethren, that ye increase more and more. So you're supposed to increase more and more in your love, not in hate, in love. Amen. Don't get mad at the lady because she wear a big hat and you your head is small and you can't put the big hat on. You got a big old head too. Leave her head alone. Amen. Don't, don't worry about the brother that wear the two left shoes at church. He at church. Why don't you go over there and turn the shoe around and show them how to put it on? That's love. Amen? And that ye study to be quiet. Now, this is what I'm Study to be quiet and not causing havoc in the church and craziness in the church. And to do your own business and to work with your own hands as we command you. That ye may walk honestly toward them that are without and that ye may have lack of nothing. You see that? God love you. You won't have lack of nothing, people, if you call upon the name of the Lord. Amen. If you trust in God and lean not unto your own understanding, God will bless you. Well, I don't know how to talk to my wife. That's because you've never been taught. I don't know how to talk to my husband. That's because you haven't been taught. Amen. You can't go into a marriage, amen, thinking you are uh, some, somebody's boss. No, that's not marriage. Marriage is a mutual agreement between a man and a woman. Now, stop going in your marriage telling your husband, uh, I need you to do this and I need you to do that. He didn't marry you to be a slave. He married a wife. Amen. Do you know what a wife is? A wife is a tender, beautiful being. God created that woman tender. Amen. And why are you always cracking out with these words on your husband? Or, or you use these old bad languages on your wife? Amen? That's bad. You need to do the right thing in your marriage and by your children. When your children get grown, amen, they, sh they need to be working. They need to be helping you. They need to get up off their lazy daisy and get a job. Because if you die, what they going to do? Nothing. But lay on, they'll lay on somebody else. Amen. We got a lesson coming up in Landmark on October, I believe, what is it? October the 15th, I believe. And it's man to man. And we're going to talk about what is a man, the duties of man, the responsibility of men in their community. You want to be on that call. Uh, Sister Retta, write that call down that people may get that. 
amen, so they can be on uh, on that call. Now, that's a conference call that we have, amen, on Mondays and Thursdays. One is called the appointed time. We want you to come on one of those calls and learn what is a man, and then what is a woman. Amen. A woman don't curse her children out. A man don't curse his children and wife out. That's not a man. Amen. That's a partner. Amen. That's in the house doing wrong because they're not saved and they don't know what they're doing. Amen. So they cause havoc inside the marriage. And a lot of you, you're not happy in your marriage. Amen. Because of because of that, no communication. Amen. All kind of craziness going on fighting in the marriage, throwing pots and pans at each other? Come on, give me a break with that. How do I get out of this type of mess? I get saved first. I get myself saved. I give my life to God. I give my soul to God. And I ask God to forgive me of all my sins. Because you can't help the other part, other part of, of your life because you in sin too. And God don't hear you. One scripture said, St. John I believe it's 9 and 31, for we know a God here and not sinners. But if any man be a worshiper of God and doeth his will, hear me hear it. God will hear you if you repent of your sin. That's what God will do. If you fall on your face and say, Lord, forgive me of all the silliness. Teach me how to be a woman. Teach me how to be a man. Teach me how to be saved like your Bible says. Amen. And clean my mouth up. Clean my heart and my soul up. That I might not sin against thee. See, when you save, you don't slip up and curse. Because, see, you save now. The old things you used to do, you don't do it no more. You are, you are loving God and God loves you. Amen? So in a marriage, you need to learn what a marriage is about. What is the duties of the wife? What is the duties of the man? Listen, people, God still loves you. Just don't give up. Don't listen to your friends. Your friends can't teach you marriage. You can't listen to a bunch of single folk when you marry. Amen. You got to listen. You, you got to listen to a saved, sanctified man that's been married 41 years. Let's look at that. How many have been married? 41. No divorce. Amen. Y'all ain't been married two weeks and you ready to divorce. Throwing chicken legs at each other and chicken wings and coleslaw at each other at the dinner table. Come on now. What are you doing? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. And if this message touched you today and you know it's right, call me. 404-993-1338. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to tell it like it is here. What folks won't say, amen, they're scared to say it. Amen. I'm not. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. For it is the power of God and the salvation to everyone that believeth. God love you. Amen. And I love you. And at this time, we're going to pray. I'm going to pray that God save you. Lift your hands if you're not saved. And God's going to save you right now. Lift your hands. Don't be scared. Stop begging and running from God. That's the problem now. You know you need God. You know you ain't happy. So why not try God? Try God. Are you ready to be saved? Listen, follow after me. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Repeat that. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Save me from my sin. Lord, I am so sorry that I sinned against you. Save me from my sin. God, I'm not happy. Please help me. Save me, Lord, from my sin. And I'll live for you. I accept you as my Savior. Woo! Glory to God. I accept you, Lord Jesus, as my Savior. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. In Jesus' name. Now listen, whoever brought you to this call, get back with them and tell them that you have repented of your sin and that you're going to live a holy, save, and sanctified life for the rest of your day. God going to clean you up and teach you how to be a wife. And you that's cursing your mom and daddy, you need to be saved too. Amen. You're grown and you're around there laying up on your mom and daddy. You need Jesus in your life and a job, a J-O-B. You should be helping your mama 
and you should be helping your daddy and you should be cleaning that house and you should be cutting that grass and you should be washing that cars. That's your mother, boy. That's your mother and your father. You don't hurt your mother and father. They bought you into this world. And God told you if you don't do what's right by your mother and father, you're going to leave out this world early. Are you listening to me? Hallelujah. Everybody got to love their mother and father. So many people care nothing about their father and mother. Hallelujah. But I'm going to tell you something. When you lose your mother, I'm going to tell you what it's going to feel like. It's going to feel like a ton of bricks fell on your head. And you can't get them off. It's going to be like a bulldozer drove through your heart. And you can't get rid of it. You Are you listening? See, I know because I lost a mother. And I lost the father. And I lost the brother. And I lost the brother. And I can never tell them people I love them anymore. But you know what? I do love them. And they dead and gone. And their memory lingers in my heart. Amen. So do what's right by your family, people. Stop cursing each other up. Stop fighting. Forget it. Put it to rest. Call a truce. Say, you know what? We shouldn't even be living. We from the same mother. Why are we fighting like this? Amen. God want to save you. Y'all hear me? Stop fighting your brothers and sisters. Stop fighting your mother. Stop fighting your dad and your kinfolk and the cousin folk. Stop fighting them. Love them. If you can't do nothing for them good, then leave them be. But it doesn't make sense for you to keep up uh, rhetoric and mess and craziness all the days of your life. For listen, God is not the author of confusion, but of peace as in all the churches of the saints. Help a brother or sister. Hallelujah. Somebody helped you. And God love you and I love you. That's why I'm taking the time out tonight to tell you God want you saved. Hallelujah. And I love you. Now listen, people. Yeah, man, I'll be back Friday night with another one. Just like the other one. The truth. Telling it like it I is. I'm Bishop S.L. Holder, old landmark church of God, holiness in Christ. 696 Mount Zion Road, there in the city of Hape, uh, Jonesboro, Georgia. Watch out here now, watch out. In Jonesboro, Georgia. Amen. We love you all. And listen, God's got a hook in me, and I don't want to get loose. Listen, we're going off early. Thanks for listening.